Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest of Light. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I did some purchasing. I bought that scroll that was worth 750, and it turns out it wasn't for the, uh, for like, the power hammer thing, but it made charging up the spin attack really, really fast. And also I got the magical key and the crown, which I'm convinced that's the tribute that was referred to in that one place in Lava Land. So let's... I suspect I already know what's at the end of this path, but let's... Ooh, why thank you. That made things easy. Just to confirm one, uh, one way or another that... I get the same thing here as I did in the other one. Ah. And there's a significant delay in the uh, music there. And it is pretty much the same. The same read, the same stuff. And, yep, that looks like it was for about another 200. Okay. So now that I've done that, time to see what's going on up the middle. Welcome to the Frozen Shard. Oh. Okay, it was just for the map. Un unless... Eh. Oh well. At least now I know. So from here, all that's left to do is head for Nasty Lava Town, and I'm convinced that uh, that um um um. That the boots that I got are what's going to protect me from the lava. Because if they don't, then what's the point of them? Because I don't think I've seen any other, like, spike traps or anything of the sort. Let's see, what direction do I have to go in? I have to go up first thing. Okay. So assuming I'm right that the crown is what I have to use to, for tribute, I'm wondering what I'm going to get for it. That's a whole nother thing. I think I still haven't gotten the letter of all things. And just to confirm that yes, I can walk on lava now. Uh, let's just check out the whole tribute thing, and turns out this place down here also has the guy saying tribute. Gold ring. Haha. -ha. Although, I'm starting to wonder if, there, if I'm going to be getting another crown later on. And since that one was still there, I'm thinking that one might be a new sword? I'm not entirely sure. But now that I have a bit more free reign over this place, let's see what we've got. Well, frankly, if I'm given the option between the uh, gold ring and the 
Master Sword, I'm gonna take the gold rank any day of the week. Uh Okay, I see you there. There we go. 75% discount token or infinite bombs? Hmm. Uh, if you're giving me the option, I'm, just, I'm still going to take the money because I have 103 bombs. I'm, it might as well be infinite at this point. Not to mention gold ring plus level three magic. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to be dying again for a good while. Oh, uh, now I'm starting to wonder where the heck I'm going. Well, I see. I see this. Sixteen heart containers will earn me infinite money. Okay, if I had known that, I probably would have taken the infinite arrows and bombs. Uh, well, that's just silly. Okay. So uh, with all that, how did I not get hit by that? I don't know. And I took the long way around, obviously. I don't see any uh, spots here. Nothing behind the lava fall. Huh. The fact that there's still a whole bunch, a whole significant region of the map that's not there makes me wonder, but. So is there any other spots on here? Doesn't look like it, so I guess this is level 9. Shadow Temple. Oh my. I note that it doesn't say what is required of me, but this kind of does. Um, can I stun you? Yes, I can. Uh, if nothing else, at least I have infinite keys. Which, I can't help but wonder if that's going to be required of me. Or, or, or if it'll just make life easier. I really have no idea where the heck I'm going. Although now that I have the gold ring and good region, I'm probably going to find myself tanking a whole lot more stuff than I probably should. There.
Why am I even bothering to pick up the money? Well, at least one benefit to having the key blocks over everything is that at least now I'll know where I've been. Assuming this remains consistent. Well, that's great. Oh boy. There's the map. You need a golden arrow to destroy the Shadow Lord's Guardian. Okay. And I can bomb this way. Double Patras! Of two different kinds, too. Okay, that's... I'm not sure who I would want to take out first, the, the, the level 1 or the level 2. And hopefully those ones won't come back. Um. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Um. Or heading over there. Aha! Yep, yeah, I'm. What I said was coming to pass, I'm just tanking every darn thing. Oh, Bosky. Didn't expect to see you in here. And this is why you kill every enemy in every room. So, as of now, I'm starting to wonder if if all the uh, key blocks are just red herrings. Take your pick. Well, I already have the gold ring. So, I get the Master Sword. So, I guess with the crown, I get to have both. That's nice. That's a... That's a good way of implementing that. Let's either get a second crown somewhere or just have the means of getting it somewhere else. And also, it's also nice that it doesn't make assumptions about which one you chose the first time. Uh, oh, wait, 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 I'm here? Huh. Okay, the game is being tricky on me now. Heck. 
The thing is, if I'm getting Curse of the Maze, I worry about what other curses this place has for me, because if I get, uh, what was it? Curse of the Unknown? That would not bode well for me, I think. Assuming I'm thinking of the right one. I don't I'm not trusting those things at the moment. Well, let's go up this way just to see if this is where the boss room is, and no it is not. One shotting blue dark nuts. Nice. <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember the Master Sword being quite that powerful, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, Uh-oh, here we go again. So thankfully I'm powerful enough now that it's not even an issue. Okay. Oh, and that's a one-way. Fair enough. Uh, I feel like going this way first. Mirror robes, something that all my, that all my offensive firepower won't do me any good against. But their firepower will be good enough. Oh, and this is a one way. Okay, so knowledge has been gained on that front. Alright, so let's see what we got this way. Oh my, yeah, you need to die. Okay, so those. Eh. I am confused. Uh, just go ahead and take a quick shortcut. So, with I'm gonna do whatever I can without taking those those uh, stairways because, like I said, I don't trust them right now. But at least. I have an easy way of knowing which ones I've already been to. Uh. Okay, and that's how that... Yeah, this is gonna get confusing. But at least things appear to be consistent, as a, as opposed to it being like one way. These paths actually lead to one another. So there was one other passageway that I hadn't been to yet. Okay. Eh. Okay. Right, this led me back to the start, didn't it? I 
think it did. Yes. So how did I get back up top again? Oh, because I, I went straight up here. Okay, that's right. But now I'm wondering where the left and right path in that room goes to. Assuming it doesn't just go to the actual rooms that are fine. Okay, things are getting interesting. It's, but it's time to experiment. If I go right here, will it take me to the room that's actually on the right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. So everything around here is just a dead end. So now, with that knowledge in hand, there was that one other stairway. I also never did go up from here. <laughs> and this is the only direction I can go in. Hmm. Well, what do we have here? Well, it leads to the left. Now, exactly where on the left? Oh. Pfft. Never mind. Oh dear, things are getting rather confusing. I think I've already said that once before, it doesn't make it any less true. Uh, that was a one-way door. I don't think I could actually go up there. Wasn't there a... Yes, there was. Alright. Time to see if this leads anywhere. I suspect that it will not. No, it doesn't. Oh my. And the only way back is to actually go through that passage or F6. Well, at least I got the boss key. There's probably more stuff on the left side that I hadn't seen yet. There might have been a locked door that I forgot about or something. But I'm going to end things off now. Because otherwise, this video is going to take a f is be pretty huge. So, uh, join me next time when, hopefully, I may, unless there's something beyond this, I might be finishing this thing off. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.